The task force started in 2012 as a result of a fatality of a uh, San Antonio police officer, Officer Stephanie Brown. Her death uh, as a result of a wrong way driver when she was on duty uh, really forced us to step up and find ways to uh, bring several agencies together to find ways to really try to mitigate the, uh, the frequency of these types of events. Uh, this task force uh, in 2012 was uh, involved uh, uh, the TxDOT, uh, San Antonio District, the City of San Antonio Public Works Department, uh, City of San Antonio's Police Department, Bear County, uh, Federal Highway Administration, and the Texas A&M Transportation Institute. So in this project for TxDOT, we really focused on the alcohol impaired driver because we know the majority of the drivers in wrong way situations on freeways are highly impaired by alcohol. And so we did some studies with alcohol impaired drivers to see what they look for in signs and pavement markings. One in particular that uh, we've been doing the last two or three years is a flashing wrong way sign. It's an edge lit uh, wrong way sign and we've put that out on about 70 or 80 ramps. Uh, we also have started implementing a reflective tape on our wrong way signs and that reflective tape is the full length of the sign and if you're going the wrong way you would see that red, red reflective tape uh, on the do not enter and wrong way signs on that ramp. What we found with alcohol impaired drivers is they tend to look down at the pavement over the hood and they do not search the forward driving scene as much as, as an unimpaired driver. We also looked at the design of some arrows on the pavement and found a new arrow design that allows for less maintenance but that the impaired drivers can still tell it's an arrow shape. By using our markings on the ground, the signs, the flashing signs, detection devices, communication system to our transguide system, everything possible to try to stop that driver as quickly as possible before they hurt somebody. We also realized that some of these individuals will still get on the system, so we also started to summarize and look to new projects that will look at additional technologies and ITS systems and connected vehicles to help us further combat the problem. Because of the efforts of the task force and what we've put in place over the last four years, we've seen a 30% reduction in reported wrong way driver events. And uh, that's not a true scientific number, but we feel it's significant enough that we feel like we are making progress.